Okay, so um, on the screen are the things that you should be harvesting right now. Okay, so new copper's come out. Everyone's like, ah, 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 copper? No, right? Aluminium first. <laughs> right. Um, uh, aluminium's first. Petrochemical fuel is second. Polymer is third, and copper is fourth. Okay. Um, and that's basically based on a few things, right? Firstly, uh, the stats. Now, those stats um, for uh, if I can make that bigger, which I can. Those stats for the copper. Okay. Oh, look at that. I like that. Are terrible. Okay. We talk about OQ and SR. Take the two numbers, add them together, divide it by two. So that gives your answer out of a thousand how good it is. Okay. 380 or whatever out of a thousand is not good. Do not go crazy harvesting this copper. Okay. When you look at the aluminium, add those two numbers together and divide it by two. That's a really good and big number, close to a thousand. Okay. It's amazing. Go and harvest loads of that. Okay. It's only one planet, which means you're going to make big bucks, but you've got to get your hands on it. So, special little note for all the people that follow my stream and come on the channel and listen to what I've got to say. Get on that aluminium. Right. Hand sample it. I don't care. Get yourself some Chadad. But get that aluminium out of that planet. Okay. It's used for two things in uh, composite. It's used in the final craft, but more importantly, it's going to be used in the layers. And we'll cover that about why that's important later. Okay. Solid petrochemical fuel. Armour Smith leads a lot of it. Okay. Um, the OQ is the only thing that's important. 772 is three quarters good. It's better than the first two spawns. The aluminium's on talus. Sorry, I cut all that bit off. Aluminium's on talus. Um, the solid petrochemical fuel. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I'm only skimming why it's good. I'm just, it, it's just good, right? Just go and get it. Okay. Um, the polymer is not the best, but it's new. It's only been out a couple of days. You've got to go and get your hands on it, right? And uh, guards more in. And uh, then the copper, okay? To be fair, the copper you could probably just hand sample, right? You can hand sample it out. Especially with the new chat ad method brought to you by yours truly and a couple of other people in the channel, Evening Blue. So, so they're the resources that you need to get your hands on. And if over the course of the stream, I chat, you move harvesters as you wish, whatever. But they're the resources to go and make sure you're on tonight. If you want to help me out, but more importantly, how do you want to help yourself out? Um, and that includes making some money. Okay. They're the resources you want. Um, the trade forums will dig that copper out of the galaxy. Um, and if you um, have a look, the copper is on most planets. Okay. So it's not going to be hard to find a good spot. It's not going to be hard to find an easy planet. Um, as I said the other day, if it's on lock, it'd be super simple. Um, but if I open the stream with what should you be harvesting in the day where there's loads out? And that's if you don't want to be harvesting the, the berries for Viserian for brandy and a load of other things, right? Um, so uh, Chadad, okay. So Chadad adds plus 15 to your survey skill. So you know you can stick plus 25 in tapes you only need to buy plus 10 because you can get plus 15 from food all right and food is cheap as chips okay novice artisan you can go on any of those on any of those right um there's a load more people hello to all the new people first time chatters welcome all do i need to add anyone else this is the i'd like a set of composite for 100k tonight please lyric list right who else is going on the list and if you haven't got the money I'll advance you the suit. 
I have answered the suit in good faith. Uh, you're first one on the list, Dave. You can't come in again. <laughs> right. Data would like one. God would want one. Uh, data stream. Um, yeah, heck, even just if you've got a, if you've got 15 spare skill points, just go and get novice artisan and just go and sit on it. Right, just go and sit on it. Uh, uh, no, you can't add because I don't think it, it won't it won't stack. It won't stack. Um, data stream wants some armor. Uh, Garda Zoo wants some armor. Fran would like a suit. Okay. Uh, Dazworth changed his mind. Right, I'm going to call it there. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 suits. We'll start with that. Right. I've got enough resources on hand. Segments to do that already. Hey, is it your house? If you have a new set of composite ready, please let me know. Um, okay. All right. So I want to, I want to, you know, every minute I talk is another minute that my six factories are making segments. So as we talk, you know, there'll be more stuff going in. I'll be able to do some more things, right? Uh, D train, you know, you weren't, but you're on it now. It's easy. Okay. Now we're going to have a bit of an armor lesson. I'm going to explain a few bits. Um, it's then recorded on my stream. People can come and watch it at a later date. People can direct it. Uh, yeah, you can be in. And then I'm going to stop it there for the moment. Because I might have a copper problem, but hopefully I'll get some delivered. Uh, firstly, I need to pick up some uh, stuff I think that might be offered. Because I need to just make sure I get stuff that people offer me relatively quickly. And that makes it think there might be some stuff offered to one of Abe's vendors. So I just want to check. Yeah, that'd be super helpful, Daz. Yeah, all new spawns, hard. All new spawns. Uh, the shortest one on there is probably the polymer. Uh, the polymer is probably the one I've got. The least of but it's not going to stop me crafting the armor tonight um yeah people offer people like to offer to the sweet vendor okay right i'm good i've collected everything i need to collect so uh yeah it's all over the place yeah it's all over the place it's really important. It's only been out a couple of days. Now, let me explain something to you. If you've been watching my channel for the past four weeks, right? I've been telling you that I'm preparing for composite to come out. I've been saying I've got my layers ready. I've got my mats ready for my segments. Um, but I'm not going to turn the layers into segments until the day that the copper spawns, right? Now, when you craft armor, you make your layers, subcomponent one, you put your layers in your segment, subcomponent two, you then craft your armor with the resources and two other subcomponents, reinforced fiberglass panels and synthetic cloth. Okay. So to craft armor, effectively, you've got three subcomponents and then the final thing. Now that's basic composite, all right? I don't want to overcomplicate it or oversimplify it, but you make some layers, put them in a segment, and then you put it in some armor, okay? That process is simple, right? And what you're buying off the market today is composite that is made with layers that already existed this morning. 
you're not buying composite that's made with layers that have this new aluminium in it. And you're probably not buying armor that's got this new aluminium in it. And you might well not be buying armor that's got this new solid petrochemical fuel in it. I can hit 80% on the resources that I had without the fuel, without the aluminium, right? And both those things are better than what I've got in hand. Now, why is that important, Larry? Because, you know, I'm going to hit 80% and that's, you know, that's what it's all about today. True, true. Today, it's all about getting some 80% composite. Everyone's getting excited um, and there's a demand for it. And, you know, people are working hard to produce it and that kind of stuff, right? Um, but the reality is it's pretty trash, okay? It's pretty trash, right? Um, but it's what you can get today. But in three or four days time you're going to get something that's significantly better right so i'll do it for 100k tonight for people that are in the channel if you're not in the channel and you're on my vendor and you want to buy like this fella sitting in my shop unless he's in the channel right it's 150k and you know street price outside is significantly more oh it's out of time oh it's you right so um yeah can i just take it and then i'll uh, i'll sort it out Okay, now, uh, I'll sort you over some cash in a bit. Now, hopefully you can see that. Da, 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 da. Let's get that a bit bigger. Uh, th this is for reference. Oh, it's a crafting channel primarily. I talk about stuff, but I like crafting, so there's got to be some crafting content in my channel. And is that my, that my, hold on. Oh, look, my little, uh, Little ball is in the wrong place for my camera. Why well, it shows up white when I move that in. Sort that out later. Um, in fact, that's going to really annoy me now. One second, everyone. There we go. Fixed it. Right. Um, so this is Armour Crafting 101, right? The type of composite that you're buying today, okay, is this stuff here. Okay, you can't see that because that's my mouse over there. You can see this. You're buying this. The most basic composite that possibly created. And I'll call it, for the example, triple kinetic layer. That's what you're buying today. Triple layer comp. Okay. 80% um, electricity. Uh, weighs a ton. Conditional range from 35 to 42K. Um, and the base will be somewhere between 54 and 60. Okay, that's what you're buying today. Um, and uh, it's what I would call level one composite. Okay, um, Buck earlier was trying to make uh, uh, triple 80. Okay, triple 80 is 80% uh, kinetic, 80% energy, and 80% electricity. Okay. You don't actually really want the 80% electricity, really, or need it. However, um, uh, you use the electricity to help you get to the kinetic and the energy. Then you've got a few other specialists that I'll talk about that I'll have on the vendors in the next few days. Um, Geonosin, 80% kinetic with a stun layer, and then as high a base as possible. Low ham, 80% kinetic and as low as ham as possible. 80% kinetic and as high as condition as possible. And then the 90% crowd. And that's 90% whether it's Janta enhanced, Night Sister layers, Night Sister layers plus a Night Sister shard, uh, Rancor, High Base and Vorator. Now, because it's taken us so long to get Berylus Copper, um, 90% is easily achievable today okay right so today we're going to craft some composite we're going to sell some stuff i'm going to explain some stuff and hopefully uh yeah i like office 2000 i still need, i still need pc right i got a cd for 2007 right and i needed to do excel so i did it all right don't complain yeah. all right and anyway to be honest there was nothing wrong with office 2007 to be honest um so 
all of these things are possible today. Um, doing a normal set that you can slice up to 90% should also be possible today. So today, 80% kinetic. Five days time, you can have any of these, right? All of these should be available in the market. The thing about these is this requires a certain type of layer. We'll call it A. This requires a different type of layer. We'll call it B. Skip that. That's something else we have to do with layers. This is messing about with layers. That's messing about with layers. And that's messing about with layers. So I could sit here today and think that I need six different type of layers. No, I'm all right. No, it's all right. Um, that I actually work for the biggest distribution company on the planet. So I'm fine. Tech. Um, but it's okay. I appreciate the offer. Um, so six. Um, so six different sets of layers. So when I say that aluminium is really important. It's because tonight I would really like to sit and make six different type of layers. And then in a couple of days time, because layers take ages to make, we can have all those types of armor. OK. Right. Right. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's definitely it's not. A, I'm not making that up. It's definitely. Um, so. There we go. Right. So that's why I say the. Uh, no, uh, IT distribution, not trucks. So the um, the six different types of uh, uh, layers all require that aluminium. The only thing that doesn't require that aluminium is the low ham, right? Because, as I've been trying to teach people, that's an important stat for low ham. And that's rubbish. <laughs> okay. So out of all those different types of composite, that I would have, uh, possibly fat, yeah, possibly. Um, so of all those um, uh, different types that you can have, right? Then um, all of them require that that uh, that stuff. Mouse doesn't show up on the resource image. No, yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Right. Um, right. Uh, malleability. Right. The one next to HR that looks really good. That's not important. Right, so malleability is super duper important um, when you want to make low ham composite, and it's rubbish. If that was in the 900s as well, I'd be like, "Oh, game over! I'll order, I'll order 20 million units." Right, okay. So it's not the best for that. So in 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 the six different types of armor that I want to produce, um, it's good for five of them. Right, that's why I'm like, get on the get on the aluminium. Right. It's on one planet, right? Um, but it's what's going to be uh, really key to making all these types of armor. All right, everyone comfortable with that? It's the first lesson. There's different types of composite. They require some different stuff. And the first thing is your priorities are all about layers. Okay. You've got to make layers that suit the type of armor that you're trying to make. What you're buying today is you're buying armor that is made from layers which were made in preparation for UBs and or they're not made with the new aluminium. So I'm going to. Yeah, I know, but but it's if anyone wants to learn about crafting, I've got to teach. Right. So uh, fatal, I'll put you down. I think then I think we're done. Right. Fatal. Right. So I'm going to teach you. And uh, that's fun for me. And that's a bit of education for you. And also then the streams here. Uh, I think Twitch keeps it for 60 days. If anyone wants to point any of their Armorsmith friends and say, Do you know, Larrick actually explained everything about crafting composite last night. Um, so uh, go and watch it and then make it for our little guild, please. So I don't have to buy it on the open market for 200k a mini suit. Because that's quite expensive. So. Uh, I'm going to craft uh, like I've um, like we're just starting. All right. That's what we're going to do. So as I was saying, uh, people today are buying armor that was made with layers that were pre-made before today. I made them in preparation for composite. 
other people made them in preparation for composite um what's happening today is that's what you're buying um and yeah do you know what i might do a trading program fat actually you give me an idea i might do a trading program right um but there we go uh, i do have a youtube channel i should probably just lift the video off and put it on it <laughs> okay uh if you look for larrick in youtube you'll find me all right so let me demonstrate with um some stuff i might have to sort some mats out but we'll we'll go for it so up until yesterday um i was making kinetic protection layers and they were either made with sotow but then they got trumped and i went giddy buying the dull iron okay you make this rip can you make, uh yeah sort of oh yeah of course can right remind me it's there if anyone needs it right <laughs> yeah you might do okay so uh, and I can't make this any bigger. Um, so we, we Soto was a first week spawn. And it was really, really good, right? Um, and I would and I bought up a big chunk of it because I wanted it for layers and I wanted it for composite when it came out. Okay. Today, Soto yesterday was a 10 CPU resource, if not more. Today, it's going in swoops. Okay. All right. It's it's crashed. The, today, the world has ended for that resource. However, when I said about the low ham. This has got a malleability rating of 937. So no, it's not. But people will dump it. Okay. So if you're out and about and you see this getting dumped off someone because they think it's been overdone, it hasn't been overdone. It's actually amazing for low ham layers. But no one's trying to make low ham layers today or yesterday. People are trying to make kinetic layers. Right. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you make a layer, you've got to have your three resources. You've got to have your polymer. You've got to have your aluminium. And you've got to have your gemstones. Okay. Pretty simple. Put it together and then you can experiment in three different lines. You can experiment on the special resistance. This is a kinetic layer. So kinetic is the special resistance. You can experiment on the quality, which improves the effectiveness. Okay. And then if you uh, want to experience experiment on durability, that does two things, reduces the ham, it increases the condition. So I'm going to make something and then I'm going to make something else and it will become pretty clear. So let's assume I was making this segment. Um, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. So let's assume I was making this segment yesterday. Okay. I was putting um, this iron in it. Uh, no, this iron in it. I was putting in uh, that and I was putting in that. And the goal here was to do two things. It is to maximize the amount of kinetic. Okay, 12% kinetic. And the second part was to try and put some points in here to decrease the ham and increase the condition. Okay. So that layer from the things that I would have used yesterday. Okay, just uh, change this a little bit. Okay, layer one. Would have ended up with 14 across the board for the ham. Uh, 402 for the condition. And 12% for the kinetic okay um this is affecting the kinetic this is affecting the condition of the armor and this is affecting uh the weight of the armor um what i've not put in there a bit useless of me was the effectiveness which was at one percent all right everyone with it hopefully you are layer learning 101 this was yesterday now, if I use three of these layers um, in a slightly different way, I can get to 80% no problem. Okay. Today, that's not what we want to craft. Today, we want to be crafting kinetic layers off the bat. We want to be creating them in the same way, and you'll see the results are different. So if I... Uh, 
yeah, if I follow the same process, okay, the results today will look something like this. Okay, an amazing help, so it artificially boosts it a little bit. Okay, um, they will look something like this. So today's layer looks like uh, 13 ham, 397 condition, 2%. And 13%, and that's 13.xx something, that's 12.xx something. Um, that's quite a big difference. And the reason it's a big difference is because at first sight, what you can do when you make your layer is you can scale down the kinetic and increase the durability and still hit the same results. So what a good armor smith starts to do is they say, um, I'll use that, and I'll use that, and I'll use that. The new mats for today. But I don't need to go to the end. Because I know that if I use the 12 percenters, I can get to 80%. So I don't need 13%. So where do I get to 12% on this little crafting line? Okay, I'll get to it there, All right? Um, that means I've got more points that I could put into here. It didn't work out because it, but but that's the sort of process that starts to happen. So as you get um better resources for layers, and you've heard me say that I'm cautious about making layers because of a new polymer polymer spawning, you can decrease down here and increase up here, so your armor stays the same output at eighty percent. But the ham goes down and the condition goes up. All right. So composite that I'm going to make today is not going to look like composite I'm going to make tomorrow because my layers are pre-made and they don't include this new aluminium. Simple concept. Hope everyone gets it. The stuff you buy today is not as good as the stuff that's going to be on the market tomorrow. From me. Right. Okay. That's the first thing to understand about crafting layers. The next thing about understanding about crafting layers is when you craft your segments, you get to choose how many of these layers you put in it. So let's make a couple of these layers. Um, unless I've got some bag already, I've got any more layers I didn't use. that aren't energy because that's not really going to help demonstrate this point have I got any kinetic layers left one second I genuinely have the factory churning out oh there we go there we go thanks very much right here's some I made earlier so when you come to make your segment Uh, which is uh, here you get to choose how many of these layers you put in it's not a, um, a requirement to fill it it's an optional so I can put one layer in I basically added 11% kinetic to this segment I can stick another one in so I've added 22 I can stick another one in so I've added 33 I've also added in three times the um, ham cost and I've also boosted the integrity, right? So I've made it better condition, but I'm also making it heavier. So as someone said today, the armor's heavy. Well, yeah, because people are using it by making by using three layers. Okay, so you start adding, you know, thirty six to all of these stats. That's before you then add the add the ham for the actual armor itself. Segment is basically sitting in the armor. All right. Imagine it's like plates in Warzone, right? Just like plates. Okay. <laughs> you can come back, right? So this is also where you would add in your Vorator scale to give that kinetic a bit of a boost. Okay. Did it. <laughs> um, so. Uh, no, I can't. No, because I don't play Fortnite. So. Um, this is the example, one second, though. So 
So, um, so this is where you add your Vorator scale. This is where you add your Jan to hide. Now, when you add a Vorator scale, you can see it's going to add to energy and it's going to add to kinetic. Okay. If you add a uh, Jan to hide, it only adds to the base. We'll come to that in a minute. Let's just cover the basics of armor crafting. Um, I need to get some Corellium steel out of one of the um, uh, out of one of the factories. Sorry, just teaching my armor crafting apprentice. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, bit of that. Okay, that guy. Right. Make some examples. <laughs> I've got Warzone on the mind. I need to be playing. Uh, I can, yeah. I, only the only the um, the empire can I can I put into this. So I can make this composite. So we'll make one with um, no layers. So no layers, and then we get to experiment again. Okay. So it's got no layers in it, which means it's going to be pretty light, but it's got no protection in it, so it's going to be pretty rubbish. Okay. All right. So when we experiment on the segment, oh yeah, it's not. It's, there's a lot of thing. Uh, holy, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of depths of crafting in there. Um. So here's a segment. It's going to go into the final piece of composite. I get to experiment in three different places again. I can experiment on the special effectiveness. Now, special effectiveness on a composite segment is electricity. Okay, so when you craft this piece of armor, um, and I don't think I've got any left in the bag pretty much. Here we go. Uh, let's compare it to this. For composite armor, the special effectiveness base result is electricity. So what it would look like on the armor, the special protection would be electricity, um, and everything else would be in the that it's got resistance against would be an effectiveness. All right. Um, so if I was to make this and I'll make this, um, it's going to be electrical and then other stuff. So I can improve the electrical resistance. No, don't need to do that. Thanks. Um, I can increase the effectiveness of all the other things that it's not vulnerable to. So I'm increasing the energy, the cold, the heat, the kinetic, um the acid i think composite is vulnerable to i'll be vulnerable on stun might be vulnerable on something else doesn't matter but that's what that's going to do and then i can experiment on this line which is going to increase the condition of the armor and it's going to reduce the ham okay so you could make super light composite by just whacking all of this up to maximum here okay and getting this segment down to six six seven <laughs> Right, and beautiful. Right, when people make layers, when people make armor using Knight and Sister shards, when you slot the shard into the segment, that's what it's doing. It's reducing it. Okay. So if I go and get a Knight and Sister shard to show you, get one out of here. Don't chuck that in the shards, the thing you want to get, want to get people to understand. So Night Sister shards, they don't add any protection, they just reduce the cam. So if I come here, make my composite segment, um, I'm just going to make it, but I'm going to put a Night Sister shard in it. Actually, this segment's going to have negative stats. Uh, yeah, Light Sister, Night Sister. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lightsaber, it's done. So with the Night Sister shard, the Night Sister shard reduces the hand by significant amounts. All right. 
Now, when you get this segment and you stick it in your armor, your armor has a base cost itself in ham. Okay, but that's why people look for high value shards because they reduce the weight of the armor. If I know I'm going to reduce the weight of the armor by using shards, when I make my segment, I can experiment in different places. I don't need to experiment here now to get the ham down. I could just experiment in here to improve the base. All right. So depending on the enhancement you put in affects how you make it. But scrap that for a minute. Let's go back to Armorcraft 101. We make a basic segment and we don't stick anything in it. And um, in fact, I'm not even going to experiment on it either. OK, just make a basic layer. Uh, this is plain. All of this in a minute will become like quite, you know, be like, oh, that's why you told us all this. So we'll make the next one and we'll stick one composite layer in it. Let's just not bother doing it either. One kin layer. Get the next one in. By the way, I'm going to give all the, all the trade secrets are coming out on this on this stream and this channel, right? We might not get all of it out tonight, but we're going to uh, we're going to pour it all out into it. Um, so this is two layer. Three layer. Oh, no, don't be full, don't be full. So we've got a plain one, a one layer, a two layer, and a three layer. And then I'm going to add to that some stuff. Um, we're going to do a uh, one kinetic, one energy. So one kinetic layer, one energy layer. Well, I do not yeah yeah it is it is right armor smith uncovered no holes barred trade secrets trade secrets exposed uh 200k for a mini suit outrageous says Larrick. right um because they're basic crafts right you know um there's a there's some materials used but to be frankly honest, right, chucking three kinetic layers in a segment, experimenting on um, effectiveness, chucking it in a piece of comp and making it is not worth 200k for a mini suit. OK, it's not worth it. You know, this is, you know, I'm, I'm going to teach you it in, in an hour how to make it. There's none of this going on. There's no experimenting going on. There's no intricate practicing using foods drinks going to a research center it's it's just you know it's like making synthetic cloth it's like making spice in my mind get your bits chuck it in there experiment on one line you're done okay i don't think that deserves a price tag of 200k but you know that's you know that's just me all right that's just me i will charge plenty of money for uh, early release of stuff um like super early release and i'll charge money for things that go wrong with slicing and that kind of stuff right but i can't charge that money for something my one of you know my seven-year-old son could do it <laughs> right um I'm, it's not a lot of value so i've got i've got my segments okay 
and then uh, as I've explained your segments are going to go uh, into your composite armor so you'll understand something in a bit um, So what do we need? We need a synthetic cloth and a reinforced panel. They don't have any stats. You churn them out, cost you a load of um, fibroplast. Really been tricky to get it to start the game because it's been in demand. Um, then uh, forget the new stuff. We're going to use the stuff I had in stock. So I had uh, the class two in stock. I had the bully hide in stock. That's not the Yavin stuff, by the way. That's the dance stuff. Uh, I've got the ore in stock. I've got that in stock. I've got some fibroblast in stock. I've uh, thank you very much for that little boost to my stack of copper. Um, and then I'm going to stick in the plane segment. All right. So the segment before I stack it in, uh, ham cost of 11, 11, 13. All right, 11, 11, 13. Stick in the plane segment. Turn it into a pair of gloves. Ham cost. 34 32 37 and i put in 11 11 13 so the armor itself has a base cost for ham that gets put on top of the cost of the ham on the segment hopefully that's clear okay sum is equal layers plus uh segment equals layers final equals armor plus segment brackets layers however you want to write it right um basically it gets heavier okay so now i've got my base piece of armor right with this amazing 20 percent protection uh 12 percent uh everything in here and a bit of ham now i can experiment on this when i experiment i get three lines again uh, no i threw it away i threw it away this is just the plain segment it's not the one with the uh, shard that shard's gone doesn't exist no more all right so when i experiment i've got three lines again i can experiment on integrity a whole line just to boost the condition and as you can see out the back kinetic is nice okay and um, i can experiment on the effectiveness which is everything in here i can experiment on the durability which is the ham so on the layers, that top one gives ham and condition. On the final craft, it just gives ham. That's why I say you have different types of armor. You can have low ham armor, high condition armor, and stuff with a high base. Okay? Because that's exactly the options you get. You can't experiment in all of these. I've only got 12 points, right? Or 11 points. Okay? You can't, you can't do all of them. Right? So you can specialize in your armor. Now, if I was to um, boost this up, I could experiment here in the base. And I can get from 12 to 32. Now, no, I'm good for assembly, thank you. So if you looked at the spreadsheet earlier, I wrote on here, there's a formula about resources, segments, and layers. And a question, which is, how can I scale down on the special resistance? Let's cover off this piece here. As we've already covered that off, the better resources, you can scale down the special and increase the experimentation in the ham to make it lighter. This bit here is important. My resources that I plugged in, the class two, the aluminium, the everything else, that got me from 12 to 32. My resources are worth 20. Okay. Everyone happy with that? My resources are worth 20. Resources I had yesterday. Okay. So now I'll make another layer. Quick, quick, make another segment. I should have made two, but no. I'm not a teacher, so I wasn't thinking ahead. So let's make another basic layer, basic segment, sorry, don't put anything in it. So it's the same as the one we just did. 
The point that I'm going to make is it's important to understand what your resources are worth. Because in theory, you need to work backwards with all of your calculations, not forwards. Now, I can't sit here and explain how to do the maths because I've never tried to explain it to other people. But you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And there's a spreadsheet on a website that will mean you can plug it all in and it will probably tell you. I do it by trial and error. That's how I do my crafting. I put in a resource, I swap it out, I go and make some more layers, I make some more segments, I go to the factory, I come back, I craft it, I see what goes on, right? So when we do it here, um, when that new segment pops out in 16 seconds, when I go back to make these gloves, comes it on my gloves, okay? I'm gonna use uh, the new aluminium because it's better. I've got to use that. Uh, I'm going to use the better woolly hide, the Yavin, the loads of expensive stuff. I'm going to use, uh, I don't think I've got any of the other solid. I don't think my delivery's coming. Not yet, right? So we'll go for the same solid, uh, same ore, um, same fibroblast. Um, then we go for the normal segment again, uh, that and that. Okay. So when it crafts, it's worth 13. Before it was worth 12. I'm just waiting for deliveries. I'm not waiting to get something that I don't have. Right. Just waiting on deliveries of new stuff. So now it's worth 13. Right. So then when I experiment in that line, my 12 to 22 now go or 32 has now gone from 13 to 32 it's not actually made a total difference now what does that tell Alaric? that means that um actually don't use that really good woolly hide because it doesn't make a difference in the final craft and actually i don't need to put that good aluminium in it i can still use the stuff from yesterday because it didn't change the number here even though i use two lots of better resource because you're in middle of percentages and when you think about how the, this stuff is all put together, then you've got, there's a bunch of aluminium and a bunch of solid fuel and there's a bunch of this and a bunch of that. And it's formula, 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 formula. And it's going to land somewhere in the percentage range. And all it's saying is those two resources, even though they were better, they're not good enough to make an extra percent on the craft. I've talked a lot about look at server best but then work out what you can make with server third best and fourth best and fifth best. Right now, today, there's no benefit in me using the really good aluminium. I don't need to re use the really good woolly hide. But when you are crafting, it could be a case that that woolly hide made a difference and made an extra 1%. Because the goal is to hit 80 in this scenario. But if I can scale back the resources and achieve the same goal, I can make armor for a much lower cost. Okay. And that's how I managed to make armor on Basilisk for 5,000 credits and make a good tidy profit. Because I wasn't paying resources that were three, four, two CPU. I was buying resources for 0.4. Right. Because people thought they were trash. But with a little bit of experimentation, you realize that I can use that one, that really old one and that good one. I can put them together a good, a bad, you know, uh, uh, a good, better and best. Or in this case, uh, rubbish, uh, awesome and OK. I can combine those three things and get what's OK. Right now, there's another whole topic around the weightings of it, which I'm not even going to try and understand. It will just be a big math formula. But I do it with trial and error, right? Um, when a resource goes from server best to not server best, it doesn't mean I throw it in the bin. It just goes in the, I think I'll try something else with that pile. And only trial and error. You can use a crafter's helper, but I, I uh, think. Now, yeah, I did. I turned a bunch of resources, right? I turned a bunch of resources into swoops. 
And the reason that I did that um, partly was because um, swoops bring people to the shop. So it's partly a marketing technique, right? And secondly, um, it's because, uh, can you check it on the vendor, please, mate? And then we'll be good. Uh, I got cash, but I can never remember what price I'm buying it from you for. Um, so, um, so um, yeah, no, I offered you one CPU for that resource because I didn't know if you wanted to get rid of it. Um, the Moo one here, please, mate. Um, I offered it because I thought you might want to get rid of it. I didn't, really want to, I didn't want to buy it. But the rubber, right, is, has been harvested lows because it was best for layers. But now it's not best for layers. It's going to be still used in the segments, but I need 16,000 of it to do 1,000 layers. So I don't need so much. Whereas if I'm using it for layers, I need 20,000 for, for one set of layers. So if I'm making triple layered composite, I need um, 60,000 of it. Right. Right. So it, it it's you know. So I offered you some money in case you wanted to just liquidate it. But um. So that's the first thing. So then when we make the second one, so we make the second one. So we go into the um the one layer version, and we use the uh, normal on stock resources. Uh, including that. Okay. Now I go to 14. I go to 14 because on that layer, on that segment, sorry, sorry, on the layer, um, it's added to that. Okay. Now, what it's also done is it's taken the kinetic from the effectiveness and it's put kinetic into special protection. Okay. That means I can't slice it now. Okay. When you slice armor, you affect the ham or you affect the base, as I'll call it. As soon as you make kinetic armor, as soon as you put a kinetic layer into composite, you put the composite, you put the kinetic into the special. If I put an acid layer, acid would go into special. If I put stun, stun would come out of vulnerability and go into special. Okay. If I make a heat layer, it comes out of effectiveness and goes into special. So you can make composite armor that hits 80% kinetic, but once it's in special, you can't slice it. That's why Wookiees can't have 90% armor because their default armors, where composite has electricity as the special, Wookiees have got kinetic as the special, just the same as UBs. UBs has kinetic as the special. You can't slice kinetic on UBs because it's always up here. All right, always up the top. Right, thanks, mate. Okay, you're you're superstar. You are a superstar. Um, so child's play armor, right? Right, child's play. So as you can see. Then you can start to experiment and that one layer starts to make a difference um, um and you know it starts to go up the kinetic starts to go up and then when you put another layer in so we'll make the next one which has got the uh two kinetic layers no experimentation by the way game's crashed no oh, massive lag spike that's probably the surge of people coming to my shop Okay, so now I've got two layers in it. It's getting heavier. Right, Ixi, how you doing? Right. Can't slice the special. I have to labour that point. So, um, I'm affecting the effectiveness, which is going to do these and these. Right, so now we start to get something that starts to look a bit better. So, that's two layers. Okay, two layers produce that result. I didn't experiment on them. I'll show you something different in a second. Um, and that's going to blow your mind. Um, so that's okay. Then when we make the triple one. Which is what most of the composite that you'll be buying today. Will be triple layer kinetic composite. It's what I'm going to be selling you in a minute. Right. Okay. 
You're now up to 71. I've not experimented on these layers. Right? These are just base layers. 71% kinetic. Okay. That's the one with energy layer. Yeah, that'd be super duper virus. That'd really help. So because I put an energy layer in it, energy jumps from effectiveness and jumps up to special protection. So you make triple energy, right? Now, the good thing about this stuff is it's great for killing NPCs, right? 80% energy and 80% kinetic is great for killing NPCs. You don't have to get the armor sliced and these are easy to achieve numbers, okay? Easy to achieve numbers. So you can see I can get to 46, 46, 22, 42. And I've got that, you know, this is this is you beast from three days ago. Or this is you beast from a week and a bit ago. All right. In fact, it's padded. I've probably got padded arm on my vendor that looks just like this. Okay, no experimentation on the layers. Um so now do something a bit different so if you add a layer into the segment it comes out of the base goes up to special okay that's the way that it works now the next thing we'll cover off is um we'll cover off this so um now i've got a segment and i'm going to put in uh, am I going to get away with that? No, because I want new ones. So I'm going to quickly make two new segments, two new layers, sorry, with the better stuff. Uh, kinetic layer. Use the new aluminium. Max out the kinetic. And then I'll show you a not a trick let's just make it like that for a second we're going to make two like this so we're going to make two layers so it's got two percent and thirteen percent okay remember this is improving that um special protection which is kinetic so thirteen percent right so we make two thirteen percent layers this is the special tip of the day coming up in a second so two of them Then we're going to make two more. On these ones, we're going to spill those extra points over into the effectiveness. It's going to add to the base. 2% becomes 2 point something. Uh, that's about 4, the whole line. Um, so it might not show, which might be annoying, but... I'll explain to you why I did it anyway in a second. So now I'm going to make my segment. With the two new layers from today, uh, uh, that's you and you. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the effectiveness. Not worry about that as long as I can get to the end. Now, got to make a note of the stats. Okay, 22% effective, 26% kinetic. 22 effectiveness, 26 kinetic. Everyone all right with that? Two layers, brand new today with the new aluminium. 22, 26, and I'm not going to worry about the extra point. I don't care. All right.
one segment. Make the segment again, but this time I'm going to use the two. Um, what have I called them? The two new ones. I've got two percent, and it's more than two percent because you can't see it because of decimals. Then we're going to do this one. So we now got twenty three and twenty six. 22 and 26, 23 and 26. Small but very important detail. By the way, this should all, should all be the same, right? This is Basilisk eight years ago talking, right? But, um, The fundamentals of crafting armor haven't changed. So now we're going to go and make our composite armor gloves. Now, I said to you that most of the armor today is made out of triple layered. People adding those three 11% layers in. But when the layers get better, you can still achieve the goal with only using two layers. You don't have to use three. Now, uh, you're crazy, Larry. You know, um, why do you want to use two layers and not three? You make it harder for yourself to hit that eighty percent, and you might need to use better resources. Uh, yeah, that's true, but I don't have to pay the expense of this extra layer. It's cheaper for me to make. Also, because I'm making it with two layers, I'm not adding so much ham, so it's lighter. Now. There's two ways you can achieve this same thing. You can make light armor by making three layers that you spend a lot of points on the top to reduce the ham and only have a little bit of kinetic. That's one way. The other way is get better resources to improve the kinetic from 11 to 12 to 13 to 14. And then you only need two layers to hit the goal. Now, when we were in the gold gold rush composite and I was like, just get stuff in factories today, Larry, you're going to make new layers. The, cop, the aluminium's there. Just get this all these layers that you've been making and you've put them in the... Just get them off the vendor. Chuck them in the factory. You've got to make a bunch of composite tonight. Right? So now, um, when I come to make my segment... Uh, which it doesn't help when I'm sitting there. Advanced combat arm segment. Uh, I've already made the segment. What am I doing? I make my gloves. Thanks, mate. Um, so now when I come to make my composite armor gloves, this is where it becomes important. So this is the 2326. This is the 2226. And if all being equal, this is where composite is different to every single armor you will craft. It does not follow the same rules. So when I create the piece before I experiment, it's 55, 37, 29. 55, 37, 29. 55, 37, 29. When I experiment up the line, okay, so this is going to improve the effectiveness here and it's going to improve the special protection. Okay. So from 55, my resources will get me to 74. Okay. Now that's only using two layers, not three layers. So you say, well, then you need to have you need to have three layers, Larry, otherwise you're not going to hit the seven, you're not going to hit 80%. Frankly speaking, people generally don't care about this. They just care about this today. This needs to say 80 today. This could say 45. It could say 60. All right. This is what's important. So that's no good, Larrick. Right. Throw it away. It's better than all that you beast I've been making, but forget it. Throw it away. Right. And um, when I make it with this layer, with this segment, I 
hopefully it's good enough to show. 56, 38, 30. 56, 38, 30. Hold on a minute, Chief. But the kinetic was the same, so why has the kinetic gone up? Why has the kinetic gone up? The answer to that is because composite is the only armor you can make in the game where it adds to the kinetic, the special, it adds to the special 55 to 56, 37 to 38, because inside the formula, it takes into consideration the effectiveness. So the first layers I made, I made all kinetic, did an experiment in the middle, two of those in the segment, that was the results of the segment. Second one that I made, really that should be under that, that would probably help people get it a bit more, right? That was the one that I made. The second one that I made, I put points in effectiveness. And the effectiveness is boosting the kinetic result and it's boosting the electricity result. And composite armor is the only armor that does this. Okay. So when you make layers, people might have seen that I've had I've listed on my vendor layers for composite. Good for composite was what I called them. It was because instead of experimenting on the kinetic and then on the ham I experimented on the kinetic and then on the effectiveness because I know how to make armor and I know that composite works different than every other armor type and not a lot of people do I don't think now that means that when I use my stock resources in the same way as I did before Instead of getting to 74, I can get to 76. Right. So let's make two more layers out of the new stuff. I hope this is of some interest, by the way. People seem to be not leaving, so I'm assuming for a minute it's interesting to people. Right. When people ask me which arm, which crafting professions you like in Star Wars Galaxies the most, this this right don't give me doctor experiment on charges and then on power six resources don't give me doctor give me this this is hardcore <laughs> right right this is hardcore um so now we're going to make a couple more so we'll go for the same bits so i want the uh, aluminium good stuff from today right good i'm glad you're enjoying the content right good i'm gonna win it then um we don't like that because it was rubbish but um this is what becomes even more important, right? And I've got to resolve that single point, which wasn't mega important till today. In fact, it wasn't important too. Now it can start to become mega important before I start making runs of these layers, right? And um, now we start getting into the juicy stuff, right? So that point that I don't have, I need to resolve that pretty quick, which I can, right? Um, I, I just don't think... Um, I don't think people intentionally look to people rip people off, right? This is, you know, there's a premium for buying armor today, right? It will get cheaper over time, right? Um, but the armor that people are making today is simple. It's simple. It doesn't require a lot of thought. Like I said, my seven-year-old could do it, right? Um, make three kinetic layers, experiment on kinetic, chuck it in, experiment on that line, get your resources, job's done, right? Um, yeah, all right. No, no, because he's not allowed on camera because he's not very old, right? And he might regret it in later life, whereas his dad knows what he's doing, right? Um, so, uh, that's one layer. And then we need to make another one. Pretty good if that would actually like work for once. By the way, this is why beginning a research centre starts to becoming more important. I think that was a good result, not anything else. So I've got to do it again. And that's why drinking food starts to become more important. Eating food, sorry, drinking, best been pork, doing all that stuff. Because um, even though you've maxed your 
kinetic layer, your, your special protection, sorry, down here, even though you're maxing this with no problem, this is what you need to be making a dent into. So I need the extra point and I need an amazing success on that one. So it gave me three points, not two points. Okay, I need that. I want that. I want that here. If I can get there, I need it there. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so let's make another one of those. And then again, let's when we craft the next bit, let's try and make it a bit better. I think it was 74. Final craft. 76. Final craft. I think that was right. In prep, I need to do this as well. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Kindly. Uh, you, you, all those bits again, that'll do me. Now, I can't, I can't go over it, right? But I've still got three points and I could spend some points elsewhere, but I'm not going to because I don't need to, right? The point I want to make now is slightly different. is here what are we done one hour 37 minutes okay doing all right covered off a lot of core principles um but now um that was the old uh that was the old stuff that was last week's solid fuel and this is this week's solid fuel so we're going to chuck that in and we're going to go in the bag and we're going to get the good woolly hide out because that's better than the other one it didn't make a difference before and we didn't use the other aluminium, we used the stock aluminium, but now we're going to use the good aluminium. So over the one I made a minute ago, I've got better aluminium, better solid and better hide. On top of a layer that I didn't have access to yesterday. Come on, segment. Fifty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-one. Fifty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-one. Okay, so now those resources are making a difference. But my seventy-six is still seventy-six because it's not quite enough to make a difference but it's making a difference and at some point when I add the next better resource which will be the fibroblast probably that'll be the next one to be beaten it will turn that 76 into 77 that's on two layers not three layers all right everyone cool with it Hope so. If not, rewatch the last hour and 20 minutes and then ask me some questions. All right. Oh, so thanks for the follow, uh, Fran. Thanks for the follow if I didn't say it before. Okay, but that's essentially the nuance that exists in composite and nowhere else. If you add to the effectiveness, you also add to the special protection results, but only on composites. That is not a test. Well, yeah, maybe I just, what I do is, I said it would be like ready, steady, cook. 
I'm just gonna, you could just give someone a set of materials and go, go on then, make me the best thing you can. Right? So, the other way, um, so that sort of covers off this, okay? We've covered off triple kinetic, and I've covered off how you can turn triple into double. There's two ways to do that. Um, or there's two ways to start achieving these low ham results, right? But you've got to have better layers, right? Um, I said that that Soto wasn't good, but actually if you start experimenting with the Soto, these are sort of golden numbers I need to get to. So where that sort of gets to 76 with the good resources, right? It means I need to get a couple more points out of one of these. Right, 23 needs to be 25. Okay, 26 needs to be 28. Right, so you've got to push these a little bit, and then that will, with the same resource, will push it over. Right, um, but it does mean that you can start to think about how to achieve that in some other way. So you can go, I'm going to take my kinetic layer. That Larry was talking about and I'll make it with that stuff that you said was good yesterday but then it's trash but actually he told me it's good again um, but the reason he thinks it's good now is because he's going to experiment on the ham first take the ham from 15 down to 7 and the integrity went up from 300 to 600 and then he's going to suddenly pump it back into here so he's got a nine percent with a one percent so maxed in there then dumped in there three of these now i'm explaining it and thinking about it at the same time it's all live on stream uh, i haven't done it earlier today Max it in there and then dump it in there. Sixes and eights. Okay. Another one. Did I put no I didn't, did I? Didn't put that in it, did I? Did I put that in it? I hope I didn't put that in it. Thank you for the bits, appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying it, Peaches evening. Um Dump it in that, put it in that. Okay, sixes and eights again. All this adds to the condition of the armor, all this reduces the ham. Okay, so now we make another segment. This is where you have to experiment as an armor smith, and this is where stuff starts to take time, right? And this is where I think you can start earning your money. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, why did I get that little. I don't really understand. I need to check out my slob setting and stuff. I need to spend some time, but I'm too busy playing. Um, so composite arm segment. Now we're gonna put in these three. So the one, so this one's going in. Uh, this one's going in. We've got to have these three things. Then we want this last one to go in. These are the magic numbers. And we know we've got to improve on those magic numbers. Because the resources, you know, whether they're the old resources or the three good ones, gets us the same overall result of 76. All right. But now I'm trying to do it in a different way. Uh, 11 and 25. Okay. Somewhat lacking. But I can boost it. Nineteen twenty-five. Twenty-three twenty-five. Twenty-four twenty-five. Okay, it's getting up as the same. But it's with a significantly lighter segment. Right? It's a significantly lighter segment than we made a minute ago.
put the good stuff in it. I talk quite a lot about can I sustain the craft at the level, right? So, you know, I'm dipping into that hide, it's gone. Am I going to get something better? I got 50k of it, can make quite a lot when it's only 10 pieces each. Um, it's good to have first, second, third choices that can all sort of hit the same, the same piece. Um, which is why sometimes, you know, if you'd have been watching on Basilisk, you know, sometimes I would have gone for a new resource and sometimes I wouldn't because it's like, it's not going to make a difference. I go and put my, put my harvesters on something else. Right, right now, loads of people getting loads of, you know, stuff for composite, you know, get, get the barrelless copper, get the barrelless copper, right? Remember, don't get the barrelless copper, right? Go and get the aluminium and the solid fuel and the polymer and then get the copper, right? That one there is where you're going to make your money and that one there is where Larrick will be really appreciative, right? Not the others. So, now we've made that segment here. Um, if we'd have gone through to the final piece, it would have been significantly lighter. Um, is it going to give us any more juice? No, it's not. But I can tell you for sure that um, that ham is significantly less. The next thing that I'm not going to go into tonight is instead of putting the points there and reducing that down by two, I could have put the points down there and increased that by a thousand. So where do I want to actually put my points? Do I want to push the ham down further? Right? Or do I want to increase the resistance? Right? So that's that's that part of the process. All right? The next sort of thing that you do So we'll we'll jump a little bit. We'll jump a little bit for a second. Um we'll go from one end of that scale up to a different end of the scale. And in order to do that, okay, we'll do that. Instead of making the segments with layers that I'm going to craft, uh, advanced composite arm segment. We're going to use um, some Night Sister layers instead. Okay, these are six percent layers, and as you notice, which you might or may not have noticed, there's not a special protection type. They're not kinetic layers. They're not energy layers. They're just layers. That means instead of them adding to special protection, they're going to add to the base. That means they're going to add to the kinetic and the energy and the cold and the heat. And the acid and this is where you want your pocket slicer because what you're going to do is you're going to make this with three layers and then you're going to add in your other bits and I can push it even more but if I use a Vorator scale I'm going to push kinetic and energy into special so it's not wise right But if I go and get my friend the Jan to hide, chuck him in, that's an extra 7% on the base again. The segment starts to look quite different. Okay. And then if I boost it to push the base up as much as I possibly can, I've now got a base scale of 45% before I add any resources to it. Um, if I add to the special, it takes the default special for composite, which is already coded here. It's electricity. I don't need to make electricity better. Let's make the ham a bit better and improve the competition, the uh, condition. So now let's make that segment. Three night sister layers, one janitor hide, six percent. And a 7%. Alright. 
back to gloves. By the way, I do all this in gloves because um, uh, you can do it without using a factory, right? So it saves me running around a lot, right? So now I've got some um, uh, composite arms at gloves because it only you don't need you only need one segment. So you need one segment for this, but a chest you need four segments. So if I was trying to make this as a chest piece, I've used three night sister layers, but I need twelve night sister layers, and you don't get stacks of twelve. So you need three different stacks, right? So if you had three stacks of five, one from each stack gets consumed in the in the in the schematic. It then goes in the factory, so it will end up making four segments. So if you want to start doing funky stuff with composite and you want chests and not gloves, right? You need three sets of layers, not one set of layers. If you gave me a stack of 12, I could put, I could use three of the slots and I could make a pair of boots, right? Still got to go in the factory. If you want chests, you start have to get multiple, right? But when we chuck that bad boy in and we use today's special off the shelf resources, in fact, let's chuck that one out. Let's chuck that one in, that one in, and let's put this in. Um, so this is today's what's available. Remembering today was like, you know, people were like, Larry, what are you going to do? You know, when do you think the arm's going to hit? And I'm like, you know, 80%, right? In the back of my mind, all day long, I'm thinking, well, if you can do 80, you'll do 90, right? So when I put this together, 60% electricity with 52. And then I start experimenting on it. Remembering that because it's all in the effectiveness, this can all be sliced. Slicing affects either this set of stats or those stats. So now when I push this to the maximum that I can, I've got 72% base pair of gloves. Now, by my maths, 72% uh, equals you times 1.35, which is the maximum our slicer friend, right? Can get in his slice on effectiveness. He can get 45% on uh, hand reduction. He can get 35% increase on here. That means we can slice this to 92%, 97%. Well, you can't, it caps at 90, but that's fantastic. That means he doesn't need a 35% slice, right? What if he gets a 20% slice? Okay, not quite there. 23% slice, 24, 25. So basically, He's got a 25% chance to hit 90% when he slices it. Okay. And what happens over time is those other resources get better. The layers don't really, you know, the layers are the layers. What gets better is the segment, the stuff in the segment, right? And then what gets better is the stuff in there. But basically now, he's got a 25% chance to get that to 90%. Right? Now I've used Janta hide and I've used what's the name? Now, this is the thing that makes it more exciting. Uh, so we'll just put that in here for a second. Uh, let's whack up the condition because the ham's low. The ham doesn't get much lower when you experiment it. It's like when you do buff packs, right? When you do buff packs, you craft the ABCs to have the charges. Don't put charges on the pack at the end of it, right? Put charges on the on the um uh, on the thingies and they have much more impact but when i chuck condition on i get a decent condition increase right so we're going to create that and without a doubt that is a kds night sister range right night sister range and when the days when that would have been colored that would have been colored in purple and that would be all good right so, 70, 79, that's annoying. <laughs> it's not 80. Frankly, that is just annoying. So when I did another one, I would put one in to increase the special protectiveness. So that hits 80, right? Um, 
so that's sort of there ready to be sliced and when we go back to the vendor um, we have to look for sixes sixes nines nine thank you very much now it's only two that means i can't make a schematic because i can make a schematic for a pair of gloves or i could just have used one so let's use that then and then let's go into the layer pot uh fours fives fives this is just reading out loud i realize that uh fives what have i got in the shop i've got a seven i've got another seven Okay, it's a bit annoying. Okay, where were the sevens? Where's the sevens gone? The sevens gone. I've got some more and I've put them somewhere. Um, and for the life of me, I can't think for a second where I've put them. I've got nine at seven, so we'll take those. So, uh, let's get the polygon, let's get the best bin, let's get going, let's make a segment, let's put a Janta hide in it, let's put seven percent in it. Let's get that nicely maxed. Um, uh, special effectiveness. Don't want it coming out at 79%. Let's just put one point in it. Let's sort that out. Increase the ham. Uh, decrease the ham. And thingy. Um, so we good. Create that prototype for that. It's all good. Remember, if I put a Vorator scale in it, it makes... It puts kinetic in the special. So it goes straight up to the special, can't slice it. Um, that's why Vorators are good for you beasts, because you beast has got kinetic as the special anyway. So it's already there, right? Um, so that's why when you put the Vorator layer, it adds to the process. It doesn't detract from it. But here it would be the most terrible thing to do to put a Vorator scale in with these layers. It would be a crazy idea, right? Um, you can substitute in rank or hide though but cover that in a minute that's sort of the next thing to think about uh just make the segment why do i keep doing that twice i've made the segment and then gone to make the segment again so uh come on gloves use all the good stuff Wait for that segment to fall out. I couldn't see it then for a second. I was like, I haven't made a schematic out of that, have I? That would be terrible. Right, that would be terrible. Okay. Okay, 74. 74 now. Now it's 74 and a bit, by the way. 74 and a bit. Okay. It's looking nice. Okay. So basically, 22% slice. Right. 22% effectiveness slice. And that's an 80% with 74. Now what happens... Right, the, the way that this evolves from this point, because you might go, well, that's the end of armor crafting, Larry. You've made 90% composite on day one that Berylis was out. And that is what we're going to do, right? All this chitter chatter on Discord about 60% base, right? Now let's make armor the proper way. Um, and that's do 90% armor on day one of getting Berylis copper, right? Um, for which I'm going to have to stick this in the uh, condition because I, I, like I say, you don't get much off it. That will go from like 
it would take like three points off. But here it will go from 33, 3, to 37. You know, 4,000 extra condition versus taking three ham off. Right? Don't take ham off. Add condition. Right? Um. So now we're talking... Right, super nice stuff. Right, super super nice stuff. Um, so the question I've got is, uh, I'm in Kadara, uh, waypoint fifty one ninety eight sixty two fifty one. Uh, person in the chat whose name begins with I. Innocent, indecent, can't remember what it is. Slicer, slicer. <laughs> right, thank you for the cheer, appreciate that. Ill intent, there we go. Ill intent, where are you my friend? You have some slicing to do. If I do not mind troubling you, please, sir. Oh, oh! Da da da! Q. Right, super duper person. Right. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, Either A, this is going to go well, or B, you're going to run off and rob me in broad daylight in front of all these people in the channel, right? Uh, there's one. All right, what did I do with the other set of gloves? <laughs> what did I do with that set of gloves? Oh, they haven't come out yet. <laughs> Got so many crafting tools. I'm like, literally, I've made a schematic, right? So, sir, do you need any um, slicing tools? Or are you good? Watch out for that shoplifter, right? She's doing it. This is like, this is like, this is like a moment on finalizer. Immortalized, you know, captured, whatever the right words are. Right, first base slice, thirteen percent. We don't want a thirteen percent base. Now you're gonna get to get uh what's the name? Right. Now you're gonna get something else. But that's probably what, an eighty five? Right, that's probably an eighty five. Let me get this little uh, resource message off for the moment. Tide that out. What was the second one? Encumbrance. Oh dear. This is slicing, right? This is slicing. So what did the first one come out as? Trace the first one back. Let's see it in the window. Right. 81. Okay. Right. No, no. 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 It's yours. Right. They're yours. Um, so we'll make some more. But I want to make some composite. Because I said I'm going to make some composite for people. Where this goes from here. Um, and where this gets more interesting. Is over time. Those resources for the. Uh, I really appreciate your help by the way. The resources for the um, the resources for the segments get better. The resources for the final material get better, right? And the the percentage slice that he needs to hit gets lower. And it means you can take the Janta hide out and put a Night Sister shard in. Okay. So as the stuff gets better and you get you're able to hit the base as higher numbers. The same again as everything else in Armor Smith, you can start to tone down the other things, and that's where you can start using smaller layers. So you don't need seven percent layers or nines. You need fives. And it doesn't mean you need eight percent janters. You can use fours. Right? So it means you can scale that stuff back down 
that means you can start spending points elsewhere. Right, when I max the middle line and then I put a bit in ham as the resources get better, I won't need to max that middle line. Right, I'll get more of a feel for it and I'll start increasing that condition and decreasing that ham. And that's how you start to make things that, you know, zero ham boots. Right, 90% zero ham. When the base resources hit like the 70s, right, you can then replace it, put Night Sister Shards in, experiment on it, on the ham, and get it basically so the boots weigh nothing. Right? That's how you make that stuff. Right? Uh, the 80 80 mix, um, I need to make some more energy layers. As simple as that. And I need to make an electricity layer because the way as I've explained earlier, um, the way that you make 80 80 80 um, is you have a energy layer, a composite, uh, an energy layer, a kinetic layer, and then you have an electricity layer. But instead of experimenting on electricity, electricity is the default in composite. You experiment on the effectiveness. So instead of it being two percent, you try and make it four, and then that adds to everything. That's the clever thing on why composite is different. Okay, so a lot of people are going to craft composite today, and they're going to hit seventy-six percent right kinetic resistance with their three layers right and they're going to look at the mats and they're going to go well galaxy harvester says that they're the best mats so why can't i hear 80 percent easily it'd be because they've experimented on their layers on the kinetic and then they've gone to ham but what they need to do while the resources are getting better is do the kinetic and then go into effectiveness right so i made some stuff earlier and my layers came out, my segments came out like that, 1734s. The 1734s are not high enough to hit 80%. I might be able to get it with the... Can I get that with the new stuff now? Oh, that's curious. If they weren't good enough, and now I'm wondering if they are good enough. The other thing that, you know, a couple of little nuances, when you start getting chest pates, you start getting four. So actually decimal points can increase. Right. Um, I did some handcrafted stuff. I've got a load of segments. I've got a list as long as my arm. The people in the channel are all going to get a set of composite for 100k in a minute. Once I've finished my chat, going to get a cup of tea, come back. Appreciate I've kept you here for two hours, but um, I think it's 50% versus street price. Right? No. Three sets of layers and janters. Okay. So the minimum you need to have a decent chance of hitting 90% composite chest pace, please, right now, you need a stack of 8% janters and three stacks of 8% layers. They've got to be five stacks, right? Which is why that little nightbot thing, which I posted four weeks ago, all stacks five plus, because I consume one in making the, the schematic that goes in the factory. Okay. No. No. Infomercial. It, it can't be an infomercial because that's an American thing, and I'm and I'm English, so no, we don't have infomercials here, right? <laughs> um. So, um. So this wasn't good enough earlier, but now we've got some new resources imported. Um. And actually, that means it might be good enough. Um. But what I did was I dragged all the layers out and I was like, why have I done this wrong, right? Oh, not enough effectiveness. Re re recraft the layers um, is what I had to do. Recraft the layers. Uh, 59. And then and then I need to pay attention to what it needs to be here, right? This is, and I'll do it later. I don't need to be doing it now. Basically, 59 is going to get me to 79. It's not good enough. Um, but I'm going to make it anyway because I need to stick a piece on my vendor and decorate it. All right. So now I'm only going to get a cup of tea. Um, and I'm going to get a bunch of segments out of the factory. And we're going to craft up uh, all of these suits of composite for people today. All right. That's the plan.
Yeah, cut more. Ah, yes. Yes, it's hard coded in. Um so then we'll then we'll there's a couple of the bits that I didn't cover off. Let me cover them off uh now and then I'll go and get a cup of tea. Right. Um get all this stuff. There's more than one way to do the ninety percent process. Okay? There's more than one way to achieve it. You can do it by the way I just did it, which is uh Janters and Night Sister layers. Okay, that's the method that I just showed you. Okay, the second method is just make layers that add to the base. Okay, so where I put in 7% um, seven Night Sister layers, craft electricity layers and just experiment on the base. Forget the electricity, just experiment on the base. I think you need the electricity to be like 7% to get 80 electricity and everything else, right? <coughs> Uh, holy well thank you for the sub appreciate it um i really do appreciate that it's cool thank you for that um and so you can do it that way then the next way you can do it is do it with rancor layers because um if you know you know rancor layers are on my list right of stuff to keep right uh, might as well dress him appropriately all right thanks for the new threads boss right um when you get your rancor layers and hopefully now this means a bit more sense to everybody about rancor layers Okay, rancor layers layers add cold and a cold and heat. That means they take it. They'll take that out of the base and they'll move it up to the special, which means you can't slice it. But who cares about slicing? Uh, who cares about ninety percent cold and heat? Nobody, right? Um, but at the same time, it adds two percent to the base, and kinetic stays in the base. So if you make electrical layers. And you put in a Rancor hide in the special protection, you get electricity, heat, and cold. No one cares. But you've added 2% to whatever you put on the layers. So when I did those three sevens and then I got that stuff, it means that right now with the resources, you've got a 5% um, a five percent uh, Rancor hide. You should be able to slice it to 85%. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Right, um, rancor hides are cheap. Loads of people farm rancors, right? Slightly less people than a few weeks ago with the nerf to the thing, but um, very popular rancor hides, readily available, um, and uh, that's a really good way to boost it. There's twos, but they're fives. Other thing about rancor hide over janta hide, rancor hide also adds integrity, so you start to get. 42,000 condition, 44,000 condition. You get a yellow roll on a hide, you could end up with something even better. So that starts to become a thing. That's where you start to get some specialism. But all this stuff is handcraft. Okay, I can't do this in a factory. I have to sit here and I have to make it, right? Um, that's why it's a premium, right? That's why it costs more to get this type of stuff. Um, the other way you can do it, Instead of making electricity, you can make acid layers. Now, I said the other week, for those that were here, I'm trying to work out which kind of layer I have to make to get the most in effectiveness. So I've got my choices. Heat, cold, acid, electricity. Heat, cold, acid, electricity. No one cares about getting them to 90%. But if I can use one of those get the effectiveness to 4%, should be able to slice that to 85%. It, it's not going to get to 90 today because the segments aren't good enough, right? The polymer lets the layer down. It's 13% on the thing, but really it'll be 14. I should be able to get four and I need another point and, you know, all that kind of stuff starts to matter. Um, so the only way you're probably going to make 90% now is with, like I said, you know, 8% layers. 8% hides but you'll hit it today someone will hit it today I'm going to sort this armor out and then I'll have another go at it right um but you know um you know, that's uh that's the thing right that's sort of top to bottom armor crafting how to go from triple layer basic uh, easy peasy composite armor 
all the way up to um, Night Sister Enhanced uh, Zero Boots. Right? That's, I don't think that was non reflection. I think that was a pretty good summary in two hours. Um, maybe I'll have to download this one and stick it on the stick it on the YouTube. Right? Keep it forever. So I need a cup of tea. Then we're going to make some armor for some people. Right? So if you're on the list, right? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hand crank it out or whether I'm going to factory run it. I think I'm going to hand crank it out for people that turn up and I'll mark you off the list. Um, the reason I don't think I'm going to factory it is these are all coming from these different combinations, right? So I've got I've got 2635s, I've got 1835s, but what, what I do know is all of these will hit 80%, right? That's the thing that's important for today. No worries, log. If you're in the channel, right, it's the first time you've been here and you like crafting or you like this type of stuff, then, you know, uh, then uh, hit the follow button. You can find your way back. That's all good, right? Um, and the other thing is we'll craft this stuff up for the people that want to pay it and then we'll probably do a little giveaway at least one set for free we'll do a little raffle all right that should be good and uh because i know that tomorrow people are going to be like narek i've gone and got you these layers can you try and slice it up to 90 percent, please and i'll go well i haven't got a slicer and they'll be like can you not re-roll abe and stop him being chef i'll be like no no not for the moment <laughs> right right but you've got to be friends with Ill intent right right Ill intent can slice it Ill intent may well be buying it off me slicing it and selling it on Good luck to the fella, right? Agent, thanks for the follow. Okay, so, but I do need a cup of tea and I've been talking for two hours. So not speaking for three minutes is gonna be good. Um, I hope that's all right with everybody. Uh, stick that on the screen, back soon. If you're not sure, you just come in the channel and you, you know, Sitting there going, yeah, I've just got all my harvesters on the barrelless copper. Um, move them, right? Move them. <laughs> um, the barrelless copper's on loads of planets. Loads of people going to get it, right? No, no, PG tips. PG. And I've only got like 40 bags left, right? So we've got to go out tomorrow, right? Um, but that's the stuff you want to be harvesting. This is not a priority. It's important. Right, but if you're looking to make some money or you're looking to support your armor smith, you want to be on the aluminium. The aluminium means they can make better layers, and better layers mean better armor. Back in a moment.